Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome to another unboxing video with me as we continue on with Ranka's birthday extravaganza. As you can see, I have four more beautiful figures of Ranka Lee from Macross Frontier. If you don't know who she is, you should check out Macross Frontier or rather the entire Macross series. Uh, it's a very, very uh, wonderful mech uh, plus idol and music anime so if you've not heard of it it's as legendary as Gundam so <laughs> uh, but let's not compare Gundam with Macross that's a whole different kind of war so anyways guys I'm gonna open up four more figurines for you guys to see uh, we'll start off from the right to the left because the leftmost one is the most expensive and the most rare um, price range from for these figurines well Surprisingly enough, the one here is the most expensive rather than this one. But this is actually rarer than this. <laughs> so anyway guys, um, you're looking around, um, I would say 10 to 25 Singapore dollars for each figuring. So you can estimate the, the price range is not extremely expensive. Eventually, we'll get to another video with the most expensive Rangkali figure I've ever purchased uh, and is the most expensive out there in the market as well so here we go guys uh, let's open up this first one which is the SQ uh, figuring of Ranka Lee here in a very nice elegant white dress so we don't really see her in this uh, costume or other this dress very often so give me a moment let's fast forward to the open product Alright, so here we go. The I love the base. The base is really really pretty. It's like a wing. So Ranka fits in snugly with this uh, base. And of course, it is proportioned in a way that it is able to stand on its own. Even though like Ranka is only balancing on one foot. <laughs> so wonderfully designed uh, figuring. And of course, the color of her dress is like white and blue tones everywhere to give the lighting effect I love her boots you know so it has that very cute ribbon at the back yeah so you are able to upskirt Ranka in this figuring so I will not show that here I love the frills you know for the underdress that's very nice and of course the the modeler for this figuring has done an awesome job for Ranka's uh, chest assets <laughs> because there have been a lot of illustrators out there who never get this correct uh, Ranka is not a, a big boob lady uh, so <laughs> yeah there have been instances uh, where her illustrations or even uh, if you guys play Uta Macross you probably know there are certain costumes when Ranka puts them on her bust size increases to a much larger size than what she normally has so <laughs> thankfully for this um, figure designer um, the person managed to retain Ranka's authenticity to the extent and yeah so we have her iconic ribbon at the back or uh, so it's a different color than her usual pink but it's it's okay it matches the dress outfit so that's pretty nice as well so the color tone for everything the dress to the hair to the face um, Everything is really well done, uh, considering that this is a very budget figuring. Uh, it's not that expensive, so if you ever get to pick it up, uh, do give this one a go. So yeah, let me put this aside. Alright, let's move on to the next one. So now, for those who have watched the TV series, this one will definitely be very familiar to you. Um, because uh, Ranka had to do part-time jobs before she actually became an idol. Uh, well, a well-known idol so she had to do this job where she was dressed up as a Valkyrie uh, and she was doing like dance performances at the same time she was able to change this costume into a uh, gear walk mode so if you guys aren't familiar what gear walk is is basically where the plane goes into a half human half plane mode so that's what they call gear walk mode so anyway guys let's open this up and take a look at how uh, nicely done this figuring is
Okay, so this figuring is one whole piece by itself. It's only the base and the figure itself. It's not as big as the other one, um, but you can see that the details are actually much clearer uh, for this one. So the eyes, the coloring and all that, even the, the shine for the Valkyrie's head helmet uh, is pretty well done. It's very glossy and shiny. So yeah, so the details for this one is definitely much better than the one over there so this one this figure actually is a bit more expensive than this particular one uh, probably pay a difference of maybe about five to ten dollars difference so this this will definitely be within the range of 20 singapore dollars or so that one was less than that that was this one was around 10 or so so that's that's the price difference so as you can see the quality is uh different compared to what you pay for it as well so you get Branca's very nicely shaped tush uh, and of course here as well you get to see uh, that okay for this one maybe the boobs is a bit slightly bigger but well, it's close to it <laughs> so as you can see this one this one is more accurate in terms of a bus size while this one is a bit larger uh, so yeah <clears throat> I'm very particular about it, so <laughs> don't blame me, please. I am not a perv. Uh, but as you can see here, a, the wings of the Valkyrie is a bit bent, maybe due to the boxing, but it should be slightly wider out. But you know, I'm fine with it, you know, uh, considering that maybe it was meant to be bent like this, uh, but it doesn't look abnormal in a way so i'm okay with it anyway guys this is a very very nice figure the base looks very solid as well it kind of has a bit of a glow uh which is fantastic so yeah ben presto good job as always for making wonderful figures uh yeah this is pretty erotic if you ask me so um it is not the worst one yet so uh we are moving along with the more expensive and the most erotic ones in the figure line for Ranka Lee um, sadly to say the one on my left here which is the most beautiful out of the four uh, this is not the most erotic one yet so um, it's still YouTube safe kind of <laughs> all right let's move on to the next one uh, hopefully eh, this one will change your mind if you ever like wondered should you get this or not because this figuring this particular one here i'm gonna be a bit slow on opening this one because i want to explain a bit more on this figuring this figuring has three different variations in color so it was annoying to decide which one to pick up because all three look nice but i decided to go with this one because um it was the authentic color for this figuring so the other two are actually alternate colors while this one is actually the original color of the figuring or rather the costume design in the first place so the left side of my bed is like totally messed up with plastic and boxes <laughs> so anyway guys uh yeah i'm gonna pull this out so the base is very very cute it's like a sakura petal uh it has the macross frontier logo printed at the back yeah and it's for the uh, Itsuari no Utahime movie so this is basically the first movie figuring yeah so this figuring is also well known for its panty flashing so I don't know whether I can actually show this on oh oh dear Ranka flew apart <laughs> so yeah you have to dissect her to get the plastic off so here we go panties flashing here and there so this is one of the other more erotic figurines because well um, you can literally see her ass even with her skirt on so yeah it's pretty well known for 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 being designed like this um, so yeah so if you buy each of the different colors well her, her panties are of different colors accordingly to what color design that you have purchased so yeah Okay, so how do I put this in? <laughs> I am so confused. Alright, so I think I've done it. Yeah, there we go. So, very nice figuring. 
a bit troublesome because of its uh, joints kind of loose um, I'm loving the the sandals the traditional sandals from her, her, her yukata it has a bit of a glow that makes it look very nice oh dear lord everything's falling apart with this one okay Okay, so here we go, finally all together. Um, this figure, I would say, it is one of the prettier ones because of the costume and the design, and of course, the panty flashing, but that's really not the point why I got it in the first place. I didn't even know about it until someone uploaded all three figure colors together with the panties showing uh, in the image. So, um, yeah, that was not my intention when I bought this figure. I really like the design of the costume. I love how the stockings uh, like shimmer. I'm not too sure whether you guys can see it. It is a bit glossy. Um, just like the sandals, the sandals is glossy as well. So yeah. Then of course we've got very nice um, flower designs here with the ribbon, lace, whatever you want to call it. The yukata is a bit unorthodox. It's not the traditional style of yukata or kimono um, that the Japanese would wear. Uh, it is a bit more revealing, so I would say it's like a ninja ninja kimono. I don't know, um, sexy ninja. <laughs> so yeah, it is a very beautiful figure. Other than the fact that it is a bit revealing, but I think that's okay. Uh, it's a bit of fan service there. I love the headpiece. The headpiece is very very beautiful, very well done. Um, so everything is actually joined together. Her headpiece is actually joined with her hair uh, as a whole piece. Then of course her face, her fa printing of her face is very well done as well. Um, so it's almost as good of a quality as this one. Yeah, but this one has a better paint job, I would say. So yeah, there we go. And the base is very very adorable. So all right, last one. Um, this one is a bit heavy <laughs> to actually stand on its own. Okay, I'm gonna shift because the bit is a bit uneven. It's, it's gonna topple. Oh dear lord. Ah, it's gonna topple. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this as a support. <laughs> so play around with your figures, uh, adjust accordingly. So <laughs> yes, last one. This one is a bit more uh, erotic in a way because I, I kind of had a hard time finding this figuring because uh, a lot of the retailers who actually sell first hand figures have um, no longer got this in stock because this is a very very old Ichiban Kuji um, and well most of them when they sold the figures, they do not have the box and pack anymore. So I was pretty lucky to find one with the box and pack. But the, as you can see, the box is a bit worn off uh, with here and there, with creases here and there. But I think it's okay. Um, the main thing is the figure alone. So let me just open this up very quickly. Okay, so here we go. Um, this figure is very erotic in a way that it is lingerie that Ranka is wearing. So this costume design is probably the sexiest. It was never shown on screen. It was just probably an illustration uh, for the poster for Fire Bomber 7. So uh, yeah, it was a crossover between Macross 7 and Macross Frontier. Uh, as you can see at the back here, they do have this uh, music note. I don't know what this note is called. I've, I've never studied reading music notes, so please forgive me. Uh, it has butterfly designs along, very nicely done. Um, so yeah, and of course Ranka has her microphone in hand, just like how Cheryl Gnome is. So surprisingly enough, for this design, um, the whole series, Cheryl Gnome has the least sexiest costume. Ranka has the sexiest one out of it. <laughs> um, very very um, how do you say well designed 
lingerie. So the top piece, as you can see, is a bit translucent here. You can, they can tell that she, you can actually see her, her body figure inside there. And of course, this figure, I love it as well because the bust size for Ranka is accurate to the best point. <laughs> and her accessories are all very nicely well done as well as so like feathers with this ring. Um, not really ring, more like strings. So yeah. Then of course we have chains with the music notes and the star. That's very nice. The mic as well. And of course her bangle with the star. Oh, this is movable. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> so the accessories do move around like a real accessory. Uh, we've got butterflies on her leggings. That's pretty nice. And of course the shoes. The shoes. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Will anyone actually wear this in real life and walk around? I bet they will probably trip and fall. <laughs> but that's just designs. And we of course we have the leather jacket that looks badass as hell. And instead of her usual ribbon, we have butterfly wings. Uh, that's, that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, so this is a very very awesome figure. If you are able to find it, go ahead and purchase it. Uh, especially if you're a Ranka fan, this is definitely a must-get figure. I have the chibi version of it, a much smaller version of it. I, I just couldn't resist. I know in my last video I said I wouldn't buy any small figurines that has the same costume as the larger ones. But I absolutely love this design and I had to get the large one and the small one uh, just to, to place around my room and stare at it <laughs> the whole day. So the design of this is really really wonderful, uh, good job to the artist and of course the quality of this even though it's an Ichiban Ban Presto uh, or rather Kuji figurine, the quality of this is as good as this one. <laughs> so I am definitely um, very pleased with how I have my money spent on this figure. I'm trying to balance the rank out here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. This is all I have for you right now. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed watching me unbox all these four wonderful figures of Ranka. Uh, as of now that I'm recording this, it is her actual birthday date. Um, this is not a pre-recorded video, in fact it is recorded on the 29th of April. Uh, and yeah, it is Ranka's birthday right now. It is currently like, uh, let me look at the clock. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> so yeah, it is very very late uh, at night right now. Uh, or rather morning, very early in the morning right now and I'm still up recording videos because I have to clear the amount of figures I have stashed away for Ranka. Uh, I have friends coming over, we're gonna do karaoke uh, once again and yeah, it's gonna be an awesome day to celebrate Ranka's birthday. So thank you guys as again, once again, I cannot say thank you more than enough. Thank you guys for watching my videos as always. If you like what you see in here, do subscribe uh, for more content in the future and I'll see you guys in the next unboxing video for Ranka's extravaganza. Bye!